Hey guys. Aww. All right. How y'all doing? So we're starting off with uh, actually Fight Club regular uh, Mike. Yeah, uh, this guy. I think the last time he showed up, he did pretty well. Like at least one of his runs. Yeah. No, he's a he's a really solid Donkey Kong. He kind of just kind of like full forward gang uh, with this type of playstyle, and uh, I think it's just like the way he just like doesn't give his opponent time to think uh, really pays off with those big hits but the green lanyard is keeping the damage going and even though he's got a bit of a lead it's not gonna matter because uh, he's a heavy and he got and Mike put him in a really precarious situation with that great edge guard you gotta be ready to tech those from DK if he jumps off the stage like that yep this character is uh, really good at just getting those hits underneath the, uh, the bubble and then just popping up and then you gotta contend with both that Nair continuing to be a great option for uh, Young Link. Yep. Whenever he's kind of worried. Okay, here comes. So this is where you know this is where you're able to really solidify your lead. You know, 140 is a lot of damage even for Donkey Kong. So he still needs to be a little bit careful if he wants to, you know, uh, not make this fall back to even territory. Okay. And then you're. Oh, no, no forward air though. Interesting. Uh, 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 okay. You know, great use of the bomb there. I'm not sure if that was intentional entirely, but that was pretty good. Uh, yeah, no, that's some great bomb. coverage, whether it hits your shield or, or it's not, stuff like that. I'm you're not able to find the kill. Oh, he could have gotten it, but he's going to get it anyway. Uh, I think, I think honestly, he anticipated him to go for the follow-up, so he just, like, buffered the air dodge to try and dodge out of it, which apparently fell right into Lanyard's plan. So... Ooh, oh my god, did you see that? That forward smash actually pushed him out of range where the up he couldn't touch for the punish. Now we have yeah. a super good position here for Mike. Very good high recovery oh. from Lanyard. Did a little, back. little bit of a premature uh. air there, but oh my god. Homie, stop holding shield in front of DK. I know he's terrified, but he doesn't have that many quick buttons when he's facing him. God, that up he got a shield just now, and you saw how he, like, he didn't give a crap about the bomb, and it just like bounced off him. That's so <laughs> tragic for Young Link. All right, well, the up he missed prior, but uh, after in the second time, going for grab definitely worked out. Ooh, all right. He's like, he's making some ground. He's closing the gap if he's able to get a kill out here. Getting some drops from, from Mike, though. I'm monkey. Yeah. Mike's just like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna make it a little bit uh, more interesting by Lion <laughs> Switch. Yeah, actually, uh, Lion's making some great uh, progress making this back right now. Only taking 40 damage. Oh. That's nothing, really. Oh, right, but right as I say it, Mike finally finds an opening and is getting some really meaningful damage here. Oh my God. This is such a good edge guard, keeping that, uh, that presence the entire time. <laughs> That was a great up smash uh, from uh, from Mike to finish off the stock. Uh, he read that um, he read that Green Lantern was going to come up high, and that was just a great punish for that. Well done. Yeah, here it comes. What a good fake Ooh. out, honestly. Like yeah, the jump back, and he was just like, "Yep, fall into my trap." All right, so we got a two-stock uh, game one for Mike. I want to see Lanyard try to play a little more patient, but I also want to see him like sit and shield less, just because DK is really DK is one of those characters that like he has super good highs and he has super he has yeah. super bad lows. He is awful when he's being edge guarded. He has a really tough time dealing with that, but he also has some of the best tools to take advantage of that against those characters. And the fact that Green Lanyard kept just sitting in shield, let him get grabbed over and over again, which kept putting him in terrible positions, where he kind of had to guess uh, how he was going to try to make his way back onto the stage. And that ended up spelling the end for two of his stocks. Um, if Green Lanyard is able to play, not necessarily more aggressively, but try to be more mindful of DK's options and which way he's facing you, he doesn't have that many good options when he's uh, running towards you, which is very important to remember. So let's see where we're going to next. St. Kalos. Kalos? Okay. Three, <laughs> oh shit, I was right. <laughs> one, go. Uh, see? Oh, there you go. 
Yeah, I like how the uh, the fortress of the characters are just hiding behind the Yeah, <laughs> it's that. it's perfect. It's pretty neat. I like it a lot, actually. All right, Mike with a fully charged punch. He didn't actually use a giant punch once the last fight. He didn't need to. The, the no. giant forward smash. <laughs> And again, like he's just super armoring through the projectiles. Uh, Youngling is one of those characters, uh, Chun Li kind of shared the same space where it's like, yeah, you have to try to make your way through this character's barrage of projectiles. Um, and the flow of the magic will really determine by when they choose to try to use their projectiles. And especially when you're a heavy who doesn't have like the world's greatest movements. Yeah. So, yeah, even though uh, Mike was able to get a really a pretty good start by getting that 100 damage, uh, Lanyard has been, like, just playing the slow game. You know, Kalos, you know, it's a, it's a large stage, so it has, like, super big blast zones, which might might work out against him because Donkey Kong is so heavy. He did kind of struggle to kill him on PS2, but maybe just, like, being able to run around more. I mean, it doesn't really make too much of a difference compared to PS2, but may, honestly, maybe the layout just, like, helps him, like, camp the ledge easier because he does have a roof above him. But regardless, Mike was able to take back the lead uh, with a backer off the left. And Leonard keeping it kind of even. Oh, bad uh, air Leonard dodge. Keeping it a good scare dodge. Uh, intimidate your opponent into, into air dodging and dying. That's what he needs for this. Lenny's playing a very reserved game right now. He really wants to try to use uh, Kalos' open space to his advantage. And the fact that there is a platform at the edge does actually give him some good opportunity Ooh. to camp. Wow. Because it makes it... All right. I respect it. Up. <laughs> We're just clapping explosions. All right, Mike was getting some pretty good uh, stage presser, but uh, Lanny was able to relinquish Yo, it, going back to center. Fairy. Terrifying fairy. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm surprised he's just side B. F Smash has like a good bit of charge up. I think Mike is paying attention to what Lanyard's uh, panic options are out of uh, F Smash lag, so if he's perceptive enough, he'll probably be able to get like a very high charge F Smash to punish it. Because he always does spot dodge out of up smash, or at least he has been doing it several times up to now. Alright. Oh. Alright, another kind of uh, questionable recovery from Lanyard, but I'm getting punished. Alright. Wow, that was. Oh no! He got hit by the bomb out of his jump. That's so oh, is that what him. happened? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah the bomb auto detonated and it hit him out of his jump. Oh, that's tragic. He should have just—if <laughs> he knew it was gonna blow up soon—he should have just drifted and let the explosion so he could preserve his jump. I think I think he was just panicking. Yeah. When he got the yeah, it is definitely uh, like a very common habit to try and jump to try and avoid the blast zone. Like turning your horizontal mm -hmm. into vertical, which isn't really a thing. Jump doesn't really, uh, but you know. Uh... What? Okay. We got the giant punch unlock. Are we gonna see a giant, a giant fist from the monkey? From the Rilla. No. Oh. Hmm. <gasps> so I guess cargo uh, setup doesn't have it, which is interesting. Cargo setup doesn't what? Half throw armor. Oh, interesting. Yeah, like he got hit out of it, like in the middle of it. So I'm not sure if it just doesn't activate on certain frames or if it just doesn't have a period. It's probably just the transition to cargo. And then mm -hmm. after that. It's the actual throw, probably. After yeah, that too. Throw. Yeah. So the entrance and exit to cargo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Lanyard, uh, keeping us very competitive. We've got a really solid lead here. Can he tape game two? Will we see game three? If we do smash attacks on there. people's shields, we might not, but both of them electing to do so. 
Oh god! I'm kind of disappointed <gasps> that. What? Oh my! What was that? Wow! Was like, oh, this would be boring if I beat him with super armor. I need to beat him legitimately. Super armor, the falling up air, and then ended up putting him in the ground. But then didn't actually. I guess he was like, that worked. No! Wow! <laughs> what looked like was going to be Young Link's kill turned out to be DK's. Oh no! You had a nice kill you got there, buddy. It'd be a shame if someone just look uh, at this. Hook it. It's like right here. Yeah, he. Oh, he oh, went was a for boomerang. He went for boomerang. That wasn't gonna kill. Okay. I thought that was forward air. Yeah, I did too. Let's can you see that again. Like, oh sure. Yeah. I'm just like I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure he was reaching for his boomerang. Yeah, he no, he definitely slid. was. He definitely was. Here it comes. Boomerang. He, homie, why were you boomeranging there? That's so unfortunate. What that was such an easy air to kill. Uh, I, I have to, I have to feel like that was a, uh, a misinput, honestly. I mean, on, when, well, yeah. if he had gotten the boomerang, he probably would have gotten like a setup. Uh, if he had gotten the nair, he would have killed him because there's a 200. Young Link Nair, yeah. Uh, sometimes I think, you know, when your opponent's at such a high uh, percent because oh, it's such it a... <laughs> yeah. Actually, I want to see that replay. more time. <laughs> yeah. You can definitely see him jump out of it. So, yeah, so, so something I wanted to mention was like... Oh, my God. Yeah, it's hard. It, so it, it's It's hard to... <laughs> um. Okay, no, I want to get the explosion. So, like... That says he's in the knockback. Yep, there's the jump. And then there's the explosion. <laughs> Tragic! Unfortunate. Yeah. Alright, well. Yeah, congrats to Mike. Moving on. 2-0. It was almost going to go to a game three, but not, not this time around.